Reality check man, reality check man. Welcome back to Aromatic Realistic TV. And tonight I want to take a look into the Prime Minister of Jamaica visit to the United States and the um, Commissioner of Police. So the Prime Minister of Jamaica along with the Commissioner of Police visit the United States um, talking to law enforcement you know, about criminal elements you know in um, Jamaica and you know Jamaican who migrate to the United States and are now citizen of the United States are using that to understand to push crime in Jamaica and you know I don't know but you know as I always said you know I always draw my own conclusion and the conclusion that I draw and this one is that to me that not really make no sense you know leaving Jamaica sure and I come to the US if you talk to US, US law enforcement to catch criminal elements here or to bring down criminal elements down here because one you know we are not straying for the, from the topic but what we must take to consideration is that you can never destroy criminal elements there is no way you're going to destroy criminal elements. What you can do is try to cut off their source. That's the best thing that you can try to do. Cut off their source. Because if you bring down an established criminal element that have been established for decades, what that will do, you know, is open up a vacuum for new criminal to rise up. See? Yeah, man, because remember, you know, there is rules and law, you know, in a this criminal underground and territory, you know. So, for instance, a man um, establish theme criminal elements for decades. You now know, say, any of you going to try to go up on the turf there. It's a serious consequence. So sometimes you not even think about it. But when law enforcement come on top now and disbank that organization and the little man them will go spring up now know so them not have to take none talk or them not have to answer to nobody. It's a fresh set of criminal rising up. You following? It's a fresh set of criminal rising up. So I don't like say so you go destroy it. It is not going to destroy you're going to destroy the kingpin them away in it a it long time. And when you pull them down, what it's going to do is rise up fresh criminal element. So my thing to this whole prime minister visit, I was saying that the prime minister need to dance a yard before him go dance abroad. And the reason why I say that, if you cannot protect our wharf and ports of entry in Jamaica, you will not eliminate criminal elements. I will repeat, I said, if you cannot protect our ports of entry and our wharf in Jamaica, you will not eliminate criminal elements in Jamaica. And I'm going to tell you why. Check the wharf. If I send 10 barrels to the wharf, and that wharf is fully secure, fully equipped. Root out corruption. Because remember, each one of those barrels, you know, or if you send a container, it have to strip by a custom officer. And if your custom is clean up and it's running by a law and order where every illegal thing that coming through that wharf, it will be turned over. To law enforcement. All criminal elements. Will survive. With a system like that. But if you cannot. Protect your wharf. You cannot protect your port of entry. And you're gone overseas. Talking to law enforcement. About criminal elements. In Jamaica. Who are using their US citizenship. To funnel 
criminal activities in Jamaica. And as I said, people, we have to follow. And these things not take rocket scientists to understand. If you take down a criminal elements, criminal is going to rise up. Just an example. Remember Dudus in a West Kingston. When Dudus, when they are Tivoli, everything is under order. When then get rid of Dudus, what happened? A room for rent supply with it. No more orders in a Tivoli. It is simple as that. You will never eliminate criminal activities. What you can do is reduce their access. So we're going to tighten up on our wharf and we're going to tighten up on our border. So anything one who could have sent a million barrel a gun and ammunition, a next million with crack and cocaine, so long as our border and our, on our port and our wharf is secure, it will not get you. Because what? It's going to inspect it, it's going to scam, and it's going to check by who? A custom officer. And anything is illegal in those barrel, container, or whatsoever, it will be turning over to law enforcement. So when I see the Prime Minister after the US, it's just photo hat, man. You know, I say, you know, I'm not easily amazed by these people anymore. Because I put myself in a space where I can understand these people. You know, I know where they are coming from and I know what they are trying. They're trying to look good in this situation. Oh, yes, we are trying to fight crime and we are trying to prevent. Because all when you see them do, when you see them pushing the SOE the other day, when the, 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 the opposition say, I'm not, I'm a no, and then he go and make the governor general sign it in place. Anytime they do silly things, you see them start run around and go at different, different places like that. They are not doing nothing. They are not doing nothing. And the people of Jamaica need to understand. We are not bashing the Prime Minister. We are not bashing his, his cabinet right now. All that we are saying, when you are doing things, make it make sense to us. Because this does not make any sense. And as I said before, you bring down a kingpin, criminal, underground, right? Elements. You bring them down to the ground. You are not just, you're not going to destroy them. Right? What happened? There is a vacuum. And the vacuum that leaves there is for fresh criminals to spring up and start that same activities. Because what we need to take to consideration, there are small people who was working for the kingpin at the top. Now they pull away the kingpin. Those small people already know the runnings. They know they know how. So what they're going to do, they're going to tap into that market and they're going to start do what? Send things to Jamaica again. But we can eliminate that with ease. By doing what? Secure our wharf and our port of entry. Right? All right. You have your house and I have my house. When we lock up with house and we go on a daytime with we grill or we do or whatsoever, we feel secure gone to work, you know. Knowing that nobody can break in our house so easy. So we know they are work, a work, and they worry about with us. No. And when we come back in our house, everything is there. If somebody does not get the access, they cannot go in there. It's the same thing with the wharf. If somebody in the wharf does not release this container or release this barrel, all these guns gonna get out there into the hands of civilians. Remember the gun they cannot walk. Remember the ammunition they cannot walk. Remember crack cannot walk. Remember cocaine cannot walk. So all are these things sneaking out of the wharf. So I would challenge the Prime Minister. Now run up and down about your go overseas, man. The thing is simple, man. Because them can't overseas, you know. We no business what them over there they do. We can't send in a million barrels from overseas. A million container. So long as our wharf is secure and our ports of entry they are secure we gonna get these illegal guns and ammunition and crack cocaine because what 
our wharf is safe and secure. Everything that comes through the port will be scanned. You will scan it through a monitor. So if there's a pin in it, we're going to find it. And we're going to turn it over to law enforcement. So them have this saying, say, dance a yard before you dance abroad. And the prime minister, the problem is right there in our country. So it no make no sense here try to go abroad and I look photo up for look good. It does not make any sense. Because as I said before, when you bring down criminal elements, when you tear down the kingpin at the top, there is a million small criminals rising up. Rising up because there is no more rules and law. Nobody no run this at turf, you know. So everybody do what they want to do. And those small men who used to work for those giant kingpin. Now, the access is right in their hand. To start their criminal activities. But as I said again. If you secure the borders, the port of entry and the wharf of Jamaica, we can solve these problems. We can solve these problems. The gun, they don't have foot. The ammunition, they don't have foot. Crack cocaine, don't have foot. Nothing that come in Jamaica in a container of foot. So all these things are reaching out there in the street. You need to clean up your wharf and clean up your ports. Until you do so, you won't eliminate gun, ammunition, crack, or whatsoever is coming into Jamaica. You see what I mean? And this is the reason why I said, them not amaze me. You understand? And when you do things for photo app, you can't catch me, man. I'm bigger than that, man. I'm past that, man. I outgrow those little stunt, man. Political stunt. The problem is right there in Jamaica. And you can solve it. Why do what? Strengthen your border, your wharf, and your port of entry. And see the reduction in crime. The reduction in gun, the reduction in ammunition, the reduction in crack cocaine in a Jamaica. But not until you do so, you will see the result. I'm not just talking because I want to talk, you know, people. But you know, also have to read through this thing and pick sense out of nonsense. You see what I mean? Yeah, man. Anyway, man, stay tuned, you know, because you don't know, you know, aromatic, realistic TV. And we just bring awareness of things as they are. We don't sugarcoat and we don't go around and come around. Bullseye. We don't hear my miss. Don't. I want go, man. That is it. I'm out.